my car happens to be a 1965 Pontiac GTO with a four speed. It's a convertible. It's a posi traction car. It has a nice big V8. It's supposed to have a 389. By the time I bought this car, it had a 455 engine in it, and it has two four barrel carburetors, dual quads, so to speak. That makes it very unique in that it's a four speed convertible. A lot of those convertibles back then were automatics. I consider my car a uh, wolf in sheep's clothing. When the top is up, looks like a mean muscle car. The top is down, we've got a beautiful cruising car and it's just a beautiful sound that comes from it. I was born in 59, so the cars that influenced me the most were the cars of the 60s. Ever since I was a little boy, I actually loved the Hot Wheels cars. But let's fast forward a little bit. I'm a, a sophomore in high school looking at these cool cars in the parking lot. They belong to the seniors. And there's this car with a beautiful, deep, throaty motor. My friend and I, we were uh, observing that car. Next thing I know, I see the senior that was driving it. I went up to him, introduced myself and my friend, and I said, boy, we really love your car. Uh, could we go for a ride in it? We'll buy your lunch. My friend Ed and I got into the back seat, and I, I couldn't contain myself. We're at a red light. I say to him, can this car burn rubber? He looked over his shoulder at me and just put a little smirk on his face. Didn't say a word. Next thing I know, the light changes to green. This car starts hovering across the intersection. The tires, the rear tires just lit up. Sounded like it was going 100 miles an hour. Next thing I know, he catches second gear. Next thing I know, he catches third gear. Next thing I know, we're at, we're at the uh, hamburger joint for lunch. And I didn't know it at the time, but it was a GTO. And at that point in time, I was bitten with a muscle car bug, and boy, I had to have a GTO. I was 15 years old, and I started saving my money. When I get into the car, I go back into time. There's no place for a, a drink holder. There's no place for a cell phone. You better be ready to drive it. You've got to shift gears and clutch and enjoy yourself and, yeah, hang on.